Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Alex. And in this video, we're gonna talk about exposing RSS feeds using Spring Boot. I recently had the requirement to expose a feed of certain items from a Spring Boot application. So I've thought about exposing an RSS feed and I was quite surprised when I found that Spring already comes with a predefined view that we can just use to expose our items. So I suspect this is one of the lesser known components. If not, just let me know. So let's jump right in, let's code. Okay, so in order for us to build the RSS feed, there are two dependencies. And I have an issue, unfortunately, I'm not sure if this is caused by IntelliJ, um, but I can't get rid of it. But nevertheless, it still works with dragging in the dependencies. So we need the Spring Boot Starter Web because we need a REST controller to expose the feed. And I'm using ROAM in order to build the feed. So there are two formats for the feeds actually. So RSS is the older one and more established probably. And then there's Atom, which is newer. I think it's more widely used these days. It's a little bit more flexible. So we're gonna build an Atom view and an RSS view. And let me show you something because Atom is really widely used. So this is my GitHub profile. If you just go there and put dot Atom on this profile, you can see it gives you a feed. It's pretty empty, but um, I could also go, this is the source code for this repository, so it's quite nice. So I could just go to the commits and then commit main and then do atom. And this will give me an atom feed of all the commits in this repository. And you can find these feeds on many, many other platforms. So let's go back. What we're gonna do first is we add a service and we call this posts. I make this a file. So what's the idea here? First, we need some model that we can expose. So let's make a data class, call this post. It has a title, um, that's a string. It has an author, that's a string. It has some content, right? That's a string. And I also want to give it a timestamp and we make this an instant. So this is our model. We're not gonna persist this uh, in this tutorial, but we're gonna build a service and we call this one the post service, of course. And this one has just one function that is exposing all the posts. So we set the instant to now, and then we create 10 posts, 10, and then we map this to the index and then it's post title. Let's check if that is a good idea. Um, we need to change the return type, list post, that's correct. Okay, a few things. So first of all, I wrote timestamp here, time. Uh, let's move this a little bit around so I can make this a bit nicer. So the timestamp comes first. And what I wanna do is now minus I to long days. So that we can see posts for multiple days. At least we can pretend that this is the case, assuming that we have some sort of block here. So now it needs to go here. And then let's actually make a format string. Let's make this a bit nicer. Because what we can do is use HTML, which is usually the case anyway, right? So this is post number i, like this. This service is just exposing our post, setting them to the previous days, and then having HTML content so that we can see something in the feed. Next up is the feed controller. So let's call this post controller. Um, it's a rest controller as usual. And what we're gonna do is we have one, let's start with atom. Uh, we have one function and this is a gap mapping. And we can say, okay, we want posts dot atom, which is kind of the convention. Now, what is it that we're gonna return? So we can build a view and we call this atom view. And this is something that at least I was not aware of. I can extend the abstract atom field view, which is coming from spring. And then we have to implement one method that is just converting from a model to an actual list of entries. And these entries are items that are exposed in the feed. You can see there are a couple of parameters that we have. So we have the model here. So if I'm in a controller, I can pass the model down to this view. So if I only wanted to have items for a certain category or these kind of things, I also have access to request and response if I need to, because I could set headers, etc. We're not gonna do this. Um, instead, what we're gonna do is we just work with the service directly um, because I don't do any filtering whatsoever. Um, you can easily add this if you need to, but let's make sure this is a component. So it's managed by Spring. Uh, I made a mistake here. Yeah, that's the, the wrong constructor. We need the one from the Atom view and we need to open this one. So now it should be good. 
So we have the service here and now we just use the service to get all the posts and then transform them to an entry. We return service post and then we map each post to an entry. An entry is this one and eventually we have to return this and this is unreachable. So this is giving me a list. We can change this here uh, to make it a list. Now we should be good. And now let's build the actual entry. So we have the entry title equals post title like this. Then it's important to know when the entry has been updated. So I'm using post timestamp and we just, this is a old Java util date. So we make date from instant. Probably have to uh, import this one. There we go. And then with entry authors, where is it? Entry authors equals list of and this is a little bit tedious because there are now types for pretty much everything. And this one is called Synth person impl. And then we can set um, the name to the post author. And we also need the content. So entry contents, it's list of, and then it's content, apply. Import this one, import, yes, atom, apply. Type equals um, HTML and value equals post content. So this is how we do it. This view is really just there to transform our model into the feed entries. Now we can go back to a controller. Uh, first of all, we need to inject the view. So it's private well, atom atom view and return atom. Now let's start the application. That looks good. Let's go to the terminal and then let's use HTTP to actually fetch our posts. It's not feed, but it's um, posts atom. There we go. And a couple of things that we can see here. So first of all, this is a valid feed and it starts off with the entries, right? So we can see title one, author one, updated and content type is HTML. And we can even see that it is using the HTML entities in the content, but these are just the entries. What we also need is some meta information around our feed. So people know when was it updated the last time, which is important for feed readers. So there's another function that we can override, which is override fun build feed metadata. So it has similar parameters. And what we can do is the following feed title equals my awesome block feed language equals en us. And now we need to specify when was the feed updated the last time. So what we can do is again, use all our posts and set our feed update to the youngest posts that we have created. So this is how we do it. Posts max by or null it timestamp timestamp. And this again is a date. So date from should work. So what this does is it just iterates over all the posts and it finds the one that has the largest timestamp, which means it's the youngest. And then it's getting the timestamp, passing it to a date. And off we go. So let's restart. Has restarted. Going back to the terminal. Clear this and try again. So if we scroll up now, what we see is that the meta information is now in place. So it has the title, it has the update, which means feed readers are now able to figure out whether there has been an update. And this is how you can easily expose an atom feed. So, but let's not stop here. And since this looks very similar, I just prepared this. So this is the component for the RSS view, uh, in case you, you just want to do RSS. So you can see there's an abstract RSS feed view. It's very similar to the Atom view. And it also has the meta information. It requires a few other properties usually to be set, like the link, for example. And then you do the same thing. So this is not an entry, but it's an item. But other than that, you're setting the same thing. So if I go back to the controller, we can now also inject RSS, which is our RSS view. And now we can have get mapping posts RSS and then we have RSS equals RSS. So we're just exposing our view. Let's restart the application one more time. Go to the terminal, clearing things. And now we just request RSS. And we can see it works pretty much the same. It has all the items in a structured format, that's XML. And then if we just scroll up here, we can see the meta information has also been added as expected. This was a short video, just showing you some of the gems that you can find in Spring. If you got questions, just drop them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.